In the video today, I'm gonna to show you how to fix some of the most annoying problems that people have been experiencing inside Nano Banana. Now, one of the most common problems is this one, how to fix aspect ratio in your images. First up is using two images. This is when you take one image and add the whole of it or part of it into another image. Now, this is actually a really easy way to fix the aspect ratio. So let's show you how to do it. So I'm gonna start by uploading an image of a fluffy dog. This is in a square crop, as you can see here. But I want to change this to a landscape crop. So I'm gonna add the dog into an image of a living room. So what happens here is when I upload the dog first and then this landscape image second, it's telling Nano Banana that I wanna use this second image as the image that is the default aspect ratio. And now you can see that we've got this dog sitting inside the living room. So what's essentially happened here is by choosing the living room as the last image, this has told Nano Banana that this is the image that I want it to choose as the aspect ratio. And you can see here, it's done a really good job of this, is put the dog into the image. It looks very natural and we've got the aspect ratio that we wanted. So this works really good for two images, but what do we do if we generate an image and we just want to change the dimensions of that image, like this image right here? It's a square, but I want it to be more of a landscape. So the best way to do this is to use an action word, and the action word I use is extend. So by saying extend, you're telling Nano Banana that you want it to extend in one of two ways, either horizontally or vertically. So this is the prompt that I've used. And as you can see, it's extended the width of the image. So it's generated more of a background. And now I have this landscape style image. Now, as you can see, there is an issue. We have these white borders above and below, but a really quick and easy fix for this is to just go along to Google and type in free cropping tool. And I use image resizer. All you need to do is go in here, it's completely free. You, there's no sign up, there's no costs. And then you can just crop your image to remove the white borders. And there you go. You've now got this perfect image in the dimensions or the aspect ratio that you wanted. Now it's worth me saying that sometimes this second fix can experience problems and Nano Banana can suddenly go, oh no, I don't wanna work doing this anymore. What I would advise you to do here is just switch it off and then switch it back on. And if that doesn't work, restart your computer and nine times out of 10, this will fix the problem for you and then the extend fix works again. So for the second biggest problem that people have been experiencing, I'm gonna to aim to fix two issues in one. This is consistent characters and also how to add clothes to people without their face or parts of their body changing. Now it's actually really easy to fix this. So the best way to do this is by using a reference image. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this prompt to generate an image. If you wanna look at the prompt formula, it's here below. Now I'm gonna hit go. First, make sure I'm on Nano Banana, and let's generate the image. So we've generated our first image of Sophia. She's wearing a red dress like we asked, she's in front of a luxury car, and she's got black flowing hair. Now what we need to do is to ensure that every other image is generated with the same person. So first off, let's download this image here because what we're gonna do is we're going to re-upload the image and use it as a reference image. This is going to tell Google Nano Banana that you've gotta pay attention to this image and when I prompt you, you've gotta use this image as a reference. So we've uploaded the same image again. Now let's just go ahead and add the prompt. Add Sophia wearing her red dress to a beach. Now, because we've used this reference image, we're gonna get Sophia looking exactly the same. Here we go, and she's wearing her red dress. Her face is the same, she's got black flowing hair, nothing has changed on her body. So we've got this really consistent character building between the images, and it's all down to this reference image. Adding a reference image at the start, and then using the prompt, is telling Nano Banana, you've gotta look at this image, and you've gotta create the same character. Now, something else that I do is I always refer to a name and I always refer to certain details in the image. And you can see me using Sophia as her name and I've been using red dress because I want it to recreate the red dress. Just adding these little details and features can sometimes really help Nano Banana 
understand what you're trying to achieve. But what happens if you want to change the clothes? And I know people have been experiencing issues with this where the face has changed or fingers have gone and they've only got two or three fingers, which is not good. We can take care of this as well. So once again, we refer back to the reference image from the beginning. We open that up inside Nano Banana and now we type in our prompt. Add Sophia standing up in a train. Add Sophia smiling, standing up in a train wearing a black t-shirt and blue jeans. And here we go. We've now generated this perfect character consistency. But this time she's wearing different clothes. And this is all because we use the reference image to ensure the consistency. And we refer to the name, which is Sophia, keeping that consistency flowing throughout all of these prompts. And there you go, that's how you fix aspect ratio and how you fix creating consistent characters inside Nano Banana. I hope these have been really helpful for you guys and you've enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you have, and if you've got any other problems, just leave it in the comment section. I'm sure I can help you with those. Whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, make sure it's a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.